This is Let's Talk with Liz, and I am Liz. Hey, everyone. Thanks for being here today. I'm really excited to talk about something that is close to many people's hearts, but not always discussed as openly as it should be. Why dating a parent is the ultimate test of patience and love. Now, this is a topic that can be tricky, especially when you're balancing faith, love, and real life challenges. So let's talk about it from a place of love and understanding with a little bit of biblical wisdom to guide us. Let's start with the scripture that really grounds me when thinking about relationships. Galatians 5, 22 to 23 says, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I love this verse because it reminds me that love isn't just about the feelings or the romance. It's about those deeper virtues like patience, kindness, and gentleness, things you really need when you're dating someone who's a parent. Now, here's where it gets real. Dating someone who already has kids isn't like dating someone without that responsibility. Pause for reflection. It's an entirely different experience. You're not just getting to know that person, you're stepping into a life that's already built around the needs of their children. And that, my friends, takes patience. It's the ultimate test of whether you're truly ready for selfless love. One of the biggest challenges people face when dating a parent is time. Their time is not just theirs, it's shared. Their kids come first, and that can sometimes mean canceled plans, last minute changes, or not being able to get that one-on-one -on -one time you might want, or pause. But here's the thing, this is where love gets real. This is where patience kicks in. It's not just about waiting, it's about understanding. Understanding that their love for their children doesn't take away from their love for you, it actually shows their capacity for love. When you see how they parent, how they pour into their kids, you see a side of them that's nurturing, protective, and sacrificial. And that's something to be admired, not resented. You have to ask yourself, are you ready to love someone who already has a deep daily commitment to others? If the answer is yes, then you're on your way to something truly special. Another thing that often goes unsaid in these relationships is the emotional complexity. Pause, reflect. The kids may still be navigating the changes that come with their parent dating someone new. Maybe they're still processing a divorce, a separation, or even the loss of a parent. As the person stepping into this dynamic, you need to be sensitive to that. It's not about coming in and filling a role as their new mom or dad unless that naturally happens over time, but rather showing them that you respect their family structure. And let's be real for a moment, it's not always easy. Pause, small chuckle. Sometimes you'll feel like an outsider and that's normal, but love isn't about rushing things. It's about patience and giving the children space to get to know you, to trust you, and to see that you're there for the long haul. I think one of the most important qualities you need when dating someone with kids is humility. It's about understanding that the relationship is bigger than just you and them. It's about how you fit into a family, how you become part of something that's already been established. And sometimes that means taking a step back, being patient, and letting things evolve naturally. Uh, this kind of humility doesn't diminish your importance uh, in the relationship, it actually strengthens it. It shows you're secure enough in your love to let it grow at its own pace. Let's also not forget about the role of prayer in all this. Pause. When things get challenging, when you feel uncertain about how to navigate certain situations, lean into prayer. Ask God for wisdom, for patience, and for love that reflects his love for us. Remember, relationships are a reflection of our walk with Christ. Selfless, sacrificial, and filled with grace. So to sum it up, dating a parent is indeed the ultimate test of patience and love. It's not always easy, and there will be moments where you'll need to pause and remind yourself why you're in it. 
But if you approach it with a heart that's open to love, patience, and humility, you're in for a relationship that is deeply rewarding and rich in meaning. After all, love is about building something lasting, something real. And when you're part of a relationship that includes children, you're stepping into a love story that's already in progress. Your job is to make that story even more beautiful. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today. If you found this helpful or encouraging, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more faith-based discussions. Let's keep growing in love, patience, and understanding, and always keep Christ at the center of our relationships. God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.